Alright guys, welcome back to the video today, and in this video we're focusing on the burning eye, and originally I didn't plan on doing any sort of video on this, obviously the weapon has been out for quite a while now, but with hand cannon changes and the fact that if you don't have a rangefinder hand cannon at a long range it feels extremely useless, I figured throwing this on might be a good idea, and I used it on stream and I got you know pretty a pretty high kill game and I didn't really realize it, someone tweeted it at me a few days later and I guess I got 27 kills or 25, 26, 27 kills with this thing in one game. So we're going to take it for a spin, see if it stands the true test of Rumble, because I feel like that's that's a little bit better as a gauge of how good the weapon is, because in control, if you're playing against bad people, you can just kind of shoot at them from wherever. If you're wondering what I'm using, I have Smart Drift Control, Small Bore, Fitted Stock, and Zen Moment. And uh, let's hop right into the Rumbles. 2,000 years later. Dude, does, does anyone play this game still it's like I, I haven't found anyone and it's been like 10 minutes so first I have to deal with supremacy rumble and I think I think I I played that in my last video but the main thing that makes this weapon so good though is uh the fact that one of the big the Achilles heel and yes I'm using a sidearm I'm not dealing with the shotgun today I feel like having special ammo and I feel like it kind of I feel like it kind of fits a scout. If you just notice it, it's like one of the big issues with scouts originally is that you just you aimed in too slow. That was one of the biggest things. And because it's adept, it aims in at a snapshot on it, right? Okay, that I'm sorry. That should never happen. You wanna dance, bruh? Am I dead? Oh! Wait, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> what is he looking at? Oh my goodness. Now you guys can't just say that, you know, I'm playing on like a leaving off where I was just was, I guess, in conversation. I know you guys would say like, you know, you're on a subscriber's account. Uh, you know, it's not the same thing. You're not playing against good people. Y y like you guys can see it. Like this is no, this is no joke here. All right. This thing. And I put a Twitter post up because I am not playing around like this. It's just beautiful. Because commonly you'll have kind of a trade off. You'll have like one with really high stability or really high range. This one has, just because of the way that the perk tree is formatted, you have really high range. Whoops, all right, we have really high range, really high stability. You aim in fast, it's the perfect archetype, in my opinion. You know, any sniper, an icebreaker is gonna get taken care of perf perfectly. I know you guys are big into the trials, some of yes. And per personally, I haven't really even been playing this game. I played the DCS League matches today. Smash this guy. Alright, there we go. I think the AFK guy finally got kicked. Oh, <laughs> how do we get a trade off? Back in business, baby. Like, obviously, you can't be over mobile with it. Like, you can't be, like, sliding around everywhere like you have a last word or, like, an ISL or anything. But if you just, if you're, and you can't really do that anyways, because I just feel like hand cannon, like, hand cannons are in a good spot, I think, in the sense that they're not complete trash, but they're not, they're not as amazing as they were. Thank goodness we have sidearms that are really hard to use. I, I swear that <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're OP. I'm not. I'm not one of those people that's always like crying about sidearms. I don't really care. But these things, uh, side uh, sidearms are very good. All right, they they just are. Someone's probably gonna spawn up here. Get a get a quality spawn kill. Oh! Oh no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! It's a blast. So as you can kind of see, it is it is struggling a little bit because it's you can't really maneuver with it too well. Like you don't you're not gonna hit those mid air shots like you would with a Ice Luna. Uh, but like just general purpose, like it kind of fits that hand cannon esque role. Like, sidearm with this 
And I, I hate to encourage it because I know a lot of you guys hate it and they think it's lame or whatever. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the biggest supporter of it. As I said, I'm, I didn't win yet, did I? All right, there we go. Well, I'll, I won't collect it just so we can extend the video like a few a few minutes longer. Why, why do I have a feeling that guy had a Nova Bomb? All right, we got one more. And we got the last one. Is that is that game over? Oh, it goes to 40. For some reason, I thought it went to like 35 this whole time. Oh, dear. We're running. Let's see where. <laughs> Shoulder charge. Whoop. All right. If, hopefully, he doesn't kill me. That would have been rude. All right, never mind. I killed him. See, I want to do another game, but I feel like with Destiny is like where it is right now. No one really wants to see you play for that long. I serve the purpose of the video, 29 and 5. It was good gameplay. You guys you guys can see how it works. Even with a map that isn't necessarily that like big, it still performed pretty well. So if you don't if you don't, you know, use scout rifles often, then it, you know, if you want to start somewhere, this is the place to start. And if you have one in your vault, because a lot of times with trials weapons, a lot of them aren't too great, so you kind of throw it in the vault and you never level it. So if this is one of those weapons for you. Go ahead and grab it. It's the Adept Burning Eye Scout Rifle. Tell them, tell them I sent you. And I hope to see. Uh, <coughs> I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>